Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com and today's lesson of the day. Now that we have a better understanding of technical analysis, uh, we're, the next thing that we're going to go into is charting patterns. Charting patterns are basically what technical traders look for on historical price charts to try and get a feel for what the current supply demand situation may be in the market and where prices might move as a result. Um, in today's lesson we're going to take a look at some of the most basic chart patterns and this is kind of where it starts to get exciting because we're actually going to be able to look at how we might place some trades based on uh, those patterns. So let's get started. Okay, so in our previous lessons on support and resistance and trends, um, we went over some of the most basic chart patterns. Um, as you hopefully remember for those lessons, um, some of the more common patterns are uptrends, which we're going to identify with potential buying opportunities, and downtrends, which we're going to identify with potential selling opportunities. Although support and resistance aren't classified as chart patterns, there are many chart patterns which are associated with identifying support and resistance and potential levels where you might want to place a trade. So that's where we're going to start with a couple of the most common patterns relating to that. The first is what's known as a double top, and you can see these you know, pretty much anywhere on a chart, but they're particularly potent or considered particularly, particularly telling when they're at the top of a trend because they're considered a reversal pattern. Um, and basically what you're seeing here is from a supply demand standpoint is uh, buyers making a run up to a specific level which forms the first top and then sellers taking over at that level as buyers are unable to push through um, and then buyers taking back over to make a second run at the same level before losing out to sellers again and the theory goes that after losing out to the sellers twice the buyers aren't going to step back in and therefore price should sell off rather dramatically from there. The double bottom is pretty much a mirror image of a double top and what you're seeing here from a supply demand standpoint um, these are particularly potent when they're, when they're at the end of a downtrend because um, they're considered a reversal pattern there but what you're seeing here from a supply demand standpoint is the sellers uh, making a run for a particular level not not being able to b break through that level buyers taking back over sellers making a second run at the same level and then just as happened with the double top after sellers are not able to break through this the for the second time the theory goes that they're not going to make a third run at it and so price should sell off rather dramatically from there um, so you can see hopefully from those charts how a double top shows resistance that's basically the resistance level that the uh, buyers are trying to make a run for and to break through and then the opposite the support level on the double bottom that sellers are trying to make a run for and break through that level and you see in both those instances that the levels held or price was not driven through those levels. So that's our lesson for today. Hopefully now you have a good understanding of the basics of t uh, double tops and double bottoms. And also hopefully you saw some potential areas where you might want to place a trade um, if you saw those uh, patterns developing on a chart. And that's going to be our topic of tomorrow's lesson where we're going to look at uh, specific strategies that traders use to uh, pick entry and exit points when they find a double top or a double bottom on a chart. So we hope to see you in tomorrow's lesson. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And have a great day.